So I just got like a ton of anger back from the truth community where I'm like, hey, I'm Thor, I'm cool, I'm funny. I want to make a video with these guys and it'll be cool, it'll be funny. And I, a lot of people are like, fuck you, man. You don't have that right. You're not allowed to. I was like, oh, really, man? Okay, great. I just want to quit often lately. When I'm like, fuck this shit. I just want to quit. And the truth is, I just love making videos. So no matter what, I'll keep making videos. <laughs> Party dance time. I don't know. Okay, stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, this video will now be about the Astonishers and the Truth Community. As you know, about a month ago, I made public my desire to have a long weekend hangout with suspicious observers, Dabu7, Dutch Saints, and BP Earthwatch. My initial thought was that after two years of me Spending 40 to 80 hours a week on my channel only worrying about putting out the best videos possible. And when I say best, I mean funny, educational, entertaining, honest with integrity and I did that without worrying about views, money, subscribers and I thought at the end of that I'd earned enough collateral to buy myself a pretty fun, pretty informational pretty entertaining weekend with three of the guys who inspired me and one guy whose work I enjoy. Let me mention, I have a full-time job at work. That job is very high pressure, high stress. So when I initially started my YouTube channel, I thought I was just going to make funny videos and I was going to do a series on how to write screenplays. Since I've been training myself in screenwriting forever. And somehow it morphed into comedizing straight into the apocalyptic Space Agency Disclosure. So I never intended to be here. I never wanted to be here. This is not the place anyone would choose. Alright. I'm going to try and stay on target. So, Suspicious Observers said yes 
and has been corresponding back and forth with me regularly. Dabu7 said yes and has been corresponding with me back and forth regularly. Dutch Sense said yes but has yet to email me even though I've asked him five to ten times. BP Earthwatch has not responded to me. Now, I thought it would be a great thing for everybody to put together Dutch and suspicious observers to have men fences, rebuild bridges, because if the truth community cannot work together, how do we expect to make any progress? And I guess when I started talking about the astonishers, it's when I realized how fucked up the actual truth community really is. So, the very first meeting, I thought the most important thing that could be done was putting together Dutch and suspicious observers, Dutch and suspicious observers, and that whatever their differences are, we can all work together because we want to avoid the gray goo World War III total destruction, FEMA camps, whatever horrible ending we are heading towards that we all agree with. And I wanted to hang out with some guys that I I could relate to and who could relate to me because unless you have a YouTube and are involved in this it's hard to understand if I told you all the stories that I have you won't believe me but I think if I Talk to Dutch or Dabu or Suspicious or BP, they're gonna believe me. They're gonna get it and they're gonna understand. Because whatever benefits people think comes along with this, uh, most of them aren't true. For example, in the time that I've been doing my YouTube channel, I've gotten numerous amounts of death threats, had trouble with numbers of hackers. I'm on my third computer. I've had to pay a private investigator. I lived in a low rent paradise with horses and dogs and I had to move then almost instantly because they became extremely uncomfortable with the death threats, the hackers and the weird goings on and lately my YouTube channel has been causing trouble at my work. So I look like some freaky weirdo, conspiracy theorist crazy guy. So for my 530 videos, the negatives far outweigh the positives. Which brings us full circle. 
I would do the group without BP. I don't think it would be as awesome as I wanted uh, because all these guys are serious. Dabu serious. Suspicious is serious. Dutch is serious. BP serious. So I wanted to humanize it. I wanted us to talk about serious stuff, but have a good time. And that overall it would be a Thor News production. So it would be very funny. And educational. And hey, you don't have to tell me. People respect you more if you're always serious. If you're telling people what to think, they're going to follow you because they like that sense of command. And you know what? That's not my style. Either you get me or you don't. All right. So... Once the initial idea grew, I wanted it to be a full-fledged, legitimate documentary. I went to film school twice. Most documentaries are boring, drama-filled sadness about sad subjects. Well, I didn't want to do that. That is not me. Life is sad enough as it is. I almost feel it's my duty to be funny. Because so few people can do it these days. So my idea was, I would get the four guys in to Austin for two days. We would go around Austin, to Mount Bunnell, to the lakes, to the cliffs. One night, we'd go out on the town. So I definitely would want a picture of us all dancing. I think that alone would be hilarious. We would ha have a lot of group combos. In good audio situations, we would be mic'd and videotaped the entire time. And then, we would hop in a van and drive to Fort Davis, which is about seven, eight hours away. Along the ways, we would stop at the Crystal Caverns, which are underground caverns filled with rainbow crystals. Here it's amazing. And then from there we would go to Fort Davis, which has one of the best observatories in America. Supposedly the darkest skies anywhere around here you can find. During that time we would have two live broadcasts where you could call in, talk to us, and then we might even have a star party at the Davis Observatory where whoever wants to could show up. From there, I would cut together an hour or two and during those four days, I would definitely have everybody discuss how they make videos, the processes they go through, and that we would be able to make a series of how to make good videos A to Z, definitely by five guys who have put out a lot of videos so 
if you put us together for three or four days, mic'd audio the whole time, I'm going to have hours of good stuff. So from that, I would edit it, take me a hundred hours or so, longer, and then I would show it, and from there, we would raise the rest of the money for a full documentary. Let's say right now, a hundred grand. $100,000 for documentaries drop in the bucket. What I think it could be done, and from there, the group would go on the road. We would visit a lot of other truthers, and then we would end with a truth summit in Austin where everyone was invited and we would have a big party. Now, we would discuss very serious subjects and everything involved in it, but part of the problem is that a lot of this movement is filled with anger and bullhorn and people calling people who aren't awake dumb sheeple. And um, I think it's a horrible idea to condescend the people you're trying to wake up. You shouldn't get mad. If you're not saying that we are smarter, but if we were smarter than other people, you don't pick on the, those less fortunate, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if you can see in someone's blind, you're not a stupid blind man, you know? That's just defeating the purpose. And so from, uh, all my wonderful, brilliant idea. I got a ton of resistance. A. And it was mostly, almost all, from the truth community. First of all, people were very upset that I hadn't included A or B, or this person, or that person, or I need to have, like, all these people here, or I wasn't allowed to do it, or someone didn't like BP, or someone didn't like Dutch, or someone didn't like Dabu, or someone didn't like Suspicious Observers, so they're like, Fuck you, and fuck him, and fuck all y'all. And it's like, really? You really think you have the right to tell me who I can and cannot hang out with? Getting messages about, you know, be careful who, you know, you, you do an alliance with. And it's like, I'm, what fucking alliance, man? Have you not listened to my fucking shows? I'm talking about a hundred year earth truce and jubilee. Who do you not want me to include in that hundred year earth truce? If you want to take the bankers on gun for gun, you're gonna lose. If you wanna hang the rich, you're gonna lose. If you wanna overthrow NASA with force, you're gonna lose. The only way everyone wins 
is a hundred year earth truce. It's the only way I can see. It's the only option we have. Rich, middle class, or poor. So to be mired in hate and anger will get you nowhere. And I want no part of that. Let me tell you. And I know there's a large contingency of the truther movement who hangs around the debunking and the shootings and the and the murders and the and they uh, gravitate there at all times. And that's pretty much all they talk about. Airplanes and shootings and what's fake, what's not fake. And there's a ton of anger and like condescending. Oh, look at all these idiots and people don't know and people don't. And you know what? I, I don't want anything to do with that, man. I don't want anything to do with hate and anger. It'll get you nowhere. And if you think those people can be leaders, if you not studied Hitler, you know what I'm saying? So I just got like a ton of anger back. From the truth community where I'm like, hey, I'm Thor, I'm cool, I'm funny. I want to make a video with these guys and it'll be cool, it'll be funny. And I, a lot of people are like, fuck you, man. You don't have that right. You're not allowed to. I was like, oh, really, man? Okay, great. Fine, then take me out of the truth community. And I'll just do what is like the Jenna Marbles. All right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you see those people who just be try to be funny or just talk about nonsensical things that don't really matter in people's life or aren't relevant? They all get millions of views, have millions of subscribers. They make good enough money to where they can do this for a living. I found that by doing it in the truth community, you get nothing but shit. A lot of the older folks who were in it first, most of them got out of the game. Because, yeah, it sucks that bad. And eventually it wears you out and it wears you down. And it has no rewards. Dutch himself is talking about he can't even get a job because his name has been tarnished so much. He's pretty much fighting hand to mouth every fucking day. And the truth community, if at any point you're like, you know what, I would like couple bucks to do this for a living people are like fuck no you shill you bastard you greedy son of a bitch you know and there's definitely to me a contingency that like until I get killed for kicking beehives I can't prove myself. And forget you, forget that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, here we are a month later. Dutch won't email me back. Haven't heard anything, BP. So I'm pretty much ready to quit. Give up. Say, fuck it. Man, all you fucking haters, all you fucking whiny little bitches, you were like, no, no, you can't, you won't, you win. And you know what? This entire movement will fail. 
always because the base of is angry and hateful and has a social disease with their keyboard warriors and they mainly do it to feel superior over other people. Oh, look at me, I'm so smart. I know Charlie Hebdo was fake. Oh, look at me, I'm so smart. I know a plane crash was not a hoax. Look at all those dumb sheep. Man, I don't want to be part of that. Like I was talking about Thor News. I only want you on my channel if you're smart, you're cool, and you got a sense of humor. Thank you. I don't want you around. I don't want your hate shit burgers. I don't want any of your shit. I don't want you to get involved in my life. I already got enough haters and trolls as it is. I bet. I thought maybe if I did a bunch of videos, girls would be like, hey, he's smart. He's funny. I would like to hang out with him. And maybe I would get to kiss one or two. Well, that hasn't worked out at all. You got a bunch of fucking trolls and haters. So sweet. You know? So, at this point, I'd still like to work with Dabu. I'd still like to work with suspicious observers. They've both been cool guys. I both like them. I don't give a shit whether you do or don't like them or you do or don't respect. Because I've given my all. I've asked for very little in return, and I've gotten a whole lot less. Now, don't take, take it wrong. I got a ton of cool people, man. I got a large group of people that I love that follow me, watch my stuff, you know. They're part of the reason I keep going. I love knowing that I make thousands of people laugh every day. That makes me feel good. And that makes me feel like I am making a difference. And I love feeling like a real superhero. Or I'm shooting from the hip. Telling you like it is straight from my heart with the chip on my shoulder. Just saying that there are parts where I just want to quit often lately. Where I'm like, fuck this shit. I just want to quit. And the truth is, I just love making videos. So no matter what, I'll keep making videos. You know, people get mad if I don't make a particular video about particular subjects or if I stray off or I make a funny video. People get angry, get upset. And it's like, this is my channel, man. Why don't you make some videos that you want to see? I'm allowed to make the videos I don't make. Anyway, maybe it was a dick in this one, and I'm okay with that. Cause like I said, I don't, you know, I like to shake off all the weak hands and all the shit burger servers. I don't think I've had a vacation since 1999, and I'm worn down to the nub, and the haters and the whiny bitches. And the nihilists, they're taking over and they're winning. Just like in this community, this community is filled with a bunch of black hearts, counter opposition. And it's, I've been asking some of these guys, I've been doing a couple of hangouts to learn more. I've been asking some of these guys, what's your end game? They're like, what? Like, yeah. 
You heard me. What is your end game? And they're like, uh... Uh, I don't you know, I don't have an end game. Maybe I ought to wake people up. Wake people up and then what? You know? Like, I don't get why you would be so into this. You don't have an end game. My end game is a hundred year truth. Jubilee. Everybody wins a second chance. So many people hate that idea, too. Anyway, crappy world getting crappier. I don't know. I just thought I'd give you an update. Here you go. <sighs> All right. Maybe I'll lose 10% of my subscribers, and I'm totally cool with that. Because like I said, I'm all about being honest. So... I'll, I'll let you know how I feel. Didn't polish it too much. And it is what it is. Alright, God bless everybody. Don't need to ask the government. Stay cool.